Hello, good evening, my friends. Welcome to another English class. We're going to start class number 20. It's really positive because uh, it means that we have just a couple of days and we're going to stay um, goodbye, right? We are doing a really good job and we have been working for many classes. It means that it means that we have like a lot of work. And <clears throat> good evening, yeah. teacher. Yeah, good evening. Hello, good evening, my friends. Okay, Miguel, Albert, uh, let's see who else do we have here. Maybe Ernest. I don't know if Ernest is there available. If not, he's going to appear in a couple of moments. Um, hello, Ernest. How are you tonight? Okay, maybe he can hear me. Everything okay? Okay, nice. Robert, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hey, okay, how are you tonight? Everything okay? Uh, I'm fine. Thanks. And you? Yeah, good. It's um Wednesday, but two more days, and we are going to be like on the weekend. I really love weekend, right? So nice. It is a good a good day. Let's see who else. Let me check who else. What about Denise? Um, are you there, Denise? I'm here, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you for answering. Uh, Maho, what about you, Maho? Are you there? Yes, I'm here. Good evening. <clears throat> Perfect. Thank you. Well, uh, Morelia, I guess is like listener, but <clears throat> maybe later she can be active in the class. Okay, class number 20. And I'm really happy because it means that we have just one, uh, five days. We have just five days and we finish after tonight, of course. So um, we are supposed, let me check. We are supposed to finish on November 29, okay? Next Wednesday, just uh, one more week, right? Uh, I hope we can finish that day, right? If we don't have any inconvenience. So the topic for tonight is uh, unit three review and practice. We're going to advance with some of the topics that we have yesterday. Uh, as I remember, we were discussing about a grammar structure that is kind of complicated because it uh, refers to present perfect, right? So um, I'm going to check the attendance list. This is the vocabulary for tonight. I mean, the new vocabulary or new phrases. These are ways to say, I don't understand. Obviously, you can say, I don't understand, and that is going to be really good, right? But if you say, I don't get it, and this is very common, I don't get it. It doesn't make sense. It uh, didn't, I didn't pick that up, okay? Um, we have also, I didn't catch that. Say that again, please. Come again, please, or oh, say it again, please. So here we have like one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven uh, different forms to say, I don't understand, okay? I don't get it. It doesn't make sense. I didn't pick that up. I didn't catch that. Say that again, please. Come again, please. Say it again, please. So imagine a person is talking about uh, some strange topic that maybe you are confused or maybe it can be the sentence or the phrases that this person is using and you don't understand. You can say it doesn't make sense or uh, didn't catch that. Oh, say that again, please. 
And that is going to be like very nice because that person is going to repeat or explain in different uh, words. Okay, Alex is like um, driving, right? So here we have uh, Raquel. Are you there? Hello, teacher. Hello there. Okay, what is your phrase? Um, I don't hear you. Okay, thank you. And let's continue with uh, Vicky. Are you there, Vicky? Yes, present. Um, come, yeah. come again, please. Come again, please. Thank you. Okay. Um, we have also Brandon. I don't know if Brandon is there. Okay, maybe not. Um, Denise. Yes, right. Hello, yes, say it again, please. Thank you. Freddy's. Hello, Freddy's. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Say that again, please. Thank you. Very nice. You have a new look, Freddy's. New haircut, right? Okay. Okay, okay nice. Good. Uh, we have um Albert. Hello, Albert. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you. Ernest, okay. Uh, we can hear you, my friend. Maybe you can try. Maybe it's the, yeah. the same. Yes, now, yes, we can hear you. Hi. Come again, please. Okay, thank you. Come again, please. Good. What about Maho? Good evening. Uh, it doesn't make sense. Okay, it doesn't make sense. Okay. What about Maritza? No, Maritza. Okay. Mm, Miguel? Hello. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Um, I didn't catch that. Good. Thank you. Okay, Marel, uh, Morelia, creo que está. He, she's like a listener, right? Maybe okay. later she can. Participate, Nancy. Hi. Hi, Nancy. Hello. Yes, Nancy. Your friends. Present. Thank you. I don't get it. Perfect, Robert. Present teacher. I didn't catch that. Good one. Thank you. Okay, and we go with Roxana. Roxana. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I didn't pick that up. Nice. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, we're going to start with the first speaking activity, and then we go to the grammar point, right? But first, let's see here. Do you think that life is better now than 50 years ago? Mm, it's like uh, some maybe elder uh, say, well, in my times, everything was better. The colon was better than the dollar. There were a lot of trees and different things. Or now you can say the technology uh, is better, but why? Why the technology? Give me the reason, okay? I'm going to be waiting for your answers and then we read all your opinions, please, in the chat. I'm going to be reading. We're going to be here waiting for your answers.
Well, let's see. Um, <clears throat> I really love um, reading your opinions. I consider you have like good points. Some of them are similar to my uh, ideas. Some others are like different and maybe I didn't took into consideration uh, different details, right? But come on, let's li uh, listen uh, to all of you. Vicky, you are the first one and then we go with Maho, please. Okay, I consider the, that some things like technology and online education and job opportunity for women are better right now, but before it was also good because there were uh, fewer people and less pol pollution. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> it is like, um, I have noticed women, okay? Woman, singular, women. Yeah, the pronunciation women, plural. Okay. In different job positions, really good ones. Mm -hmm. That 50 years ago, I couldn't imagine uh, women, not because they don't have or you don't have the capacity, but because of the ideas of the chauvinism. Chauvinism is machismo. And between other aspects, right? And now I can notice that women are having more and more uh, um, presence in different uh, types of jobs. And I like it. I like it because uh, during my uh, work experience, I have had good bosses as women. So, yeah, really nice. Um, yeah. Yes, yeah. right? I don't know, in your case, uh, you, you see the, the, the positions now, right, Vicky? There are more and more presence of women, and I like it. Yes, the women always, uh, they have um, capacity. Mm -hmm. The capacity, yeah, the, they capacity, are, the abilities, yes. Uh, they had, <laughs> or they didn't have uh, opportunities. Opportunities chances yes, yes mm -hmm. right they didn't have uh, like they were they were like waiting for opportunities but now yeah they have more so that's good. yes mm -hmm. thank you vicky um we go now with maho and then nancy okay um i think that life has improved a lot with respect to technological advances and cures for diseases However, I think that before there was less deforestation and nature was much better conserved. So yes, there are improvements as well as things that are not right. For example, in addition to it, the wars are the mm -hmm. same, are still the same. Uh, in different places, right? Uh, different countries, but there is, there is a war always, right? in different times. Uh, thank you, Maho. I like it. Yeah, technological aspects, good. Uh, I like this. Uh, advances in cures for diseases. Yeah, a lot. There are a lot of vaccines. And in the past, there were a lot of illnesses that now they have treatment. They, we have medicine. But in the past, <clears throat> there were like, like very difficult or it was the beginning, right? Yeah. And definitely one example as what you're saying about deforestation in, in between other aspects about weather is that in October, you remember October was, viento de octubre, okay? October was very windy. And from the beginning, we could even fly the kites the picuchas, the cometas, kites, they were very common. But there are some other factors that now kids like uh, play with cell phones and all those things. But and now the, in this aspect, the weather is different. Thank you, <clears throat> Nancy. And then Fredis. Um, yes, because... 
there are more opportunities. Mm -hmm. Opportunities of what? Uh, in the area, the area of story jobs. There mm -hmm. is an um, easy of communication. Okay, thank you. I consider that uh, some jobs have been created in these 30 years, recent years, that in the past that there, there were, for example, uh, call centers. Uh, before we have Antel, and now we have Claro, but Antel was a national area. But now we have different aspects, yes. Uh, imagine home office. We, in 50 years ago, people didn't imagine that you could do certain type of jobs from home. And now it's a reality. Thank you. And uh, Freddy's and then Denise. <clears throat> In my opinion, the life is beautiful. Uh, this beautiful, we have to adapt to change and it will continue to change. The technology is advancing in information that is in the hand. The cell phone, the internet, the computer is, that's it. Okay, thank you. Yeah, <clears throat> actually, yes. <clears throat> uh, even one of the human characteristics is the adaptation human yeah. beings always adapt to different weathers changes uh, challenges different types of uh, yeah whatever so definitely it is thank you for this but you didn't say if now it's better than 50 years ago but maybe later you can say it okay and uh, denise and miguel Okay, um, I think years ago was better in some things and now it's better in others. For example, it was safer in years ago and we had less contamination too. But if we talk about technology, definitely we have a lot of new things. We can know about what is happening on the other side of the world in real time. And that is a good thing. And we are better in medical knowledge and we can do a million other things, but it's a lot of people using technology for bad things too. So in my case, I couldn't choose any. It is like not a matter of, of black or white, right? There are different yeah. types of, of like a great tonalities. And yeah, definitely we can select the positive and negative aspects in, in these times if we compare it. So. In definitely in technology, we have advances, but uh, we have like medical knowledge, good, uh, a lot of things mm, using the technology. Definitely, <clears throat> nowadays, these generations or uh, in the current times, uh, I was watching like a video in which it says that nowadays we are accustomed to do a lot of things, and in the past, they were very hardworking uh, people, but they did few things. Now we try to uh, take advantage of the time. And that's one of the reasons why we look like younger in comparison to the people 50 years ago. Imagine a person of 35 years old or yes. a person of 40 years old. Have you noticed that, Denise? Yes, yeah. yes. Some I, photographs? I do. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, how old are you, Denise? I'm sorry to ask that, but how old I are you? I am 35. Okay. Have you compared a photograph from, uh, of you to uh, one of your relatives or family members when they were 35? Yes, I, uh, okay. yes. Yeah, they, they don't look, look uh, they don't look not that young. <laughs> no, that young, you look young. <laughs> No, I come on, Denise. No, you look young. But if you compare 
imagine I have compared a picture of my father and me and of my grandfather when, when they were in, in the same age that I am in command. Now they look different. I am 37. Yeah. <laughs> I am 37. Imagine in day mm -hmm. when they were 37, they look like very, very old. Very yes. old, yeah, true. <laughs> so that's something positive, and I smile and I say, Wow, life is beautiful, <laughs> as Freddy says. So, thank you, <laughs> yeah, thank you, Denise. Okay, good point. Thank you. But, uh, as you mentioned, there's a lot of people using technology for bad things, there are there is always a negative purpose of people. Something yeah. is invented, oh. you're going to find good and positive aspects and negative too. Okay, so definitely uh, it is. <laughs> Thank you, Denise. Enjoy your Thank 35. You. Come on, you are very young. <laughs> you are in the top <laughs> of your age. Come on. Okay. Thank you, uh, Miguel and Ernest. Hey, Miguel, your turn. Okay, teacher. My opinion is different about my colleagues because okay. I have a lot of technology, but that's I don't feel very good. Uh, I remember for me, only for me, life uh, 50 years ago was better than now because now we all focus on social networks the internet cable and we always worry about uh, whether we have a date or or yeah. not and before it was different because we sat down to tell stories or hmm. something funny nobody was worried because there were no social network this okay i think so that i think so okay? thank you thank you miguel you you mentioned one one very one point that, that is very important the time that we hello hello can you hear me ¿Sí me escuchas? no yeah yes okay um an aspect that you mentioned is the time the quality time that we spend with a person talking now if you notice a person is checking their cell phone like every five 10 minutes or I don't know maybe 15 minutes but you need your cell phone next to you it is necessary and in the past uh, there were like for example very common to listen to your grandpas to the grandmas tell stories I remember when I was like six years old it is not like 50 years ago but I remember that when the lights went went out, when se iban las luces, we used to uh, like use the candles with fire yes. and talk about horror stories or talk about stories. And it, it was very, very nice times because now if the lights uh, are out or go out, imagine you have data, you connect with internet and you continue using the cell phone using whatever the tablet in and you are always connected with, with these uh this type of devices so that that's true Miguel. that's true so thank you thank you okay. for sharing this uh, yes i agree your point it, it, it's part of very important uh positive aspect thank you ernest okay. and then roxanne Uh, I guess we can't hear you, my friend. Hi. Hello? Yeah. Hello? Hello there, yes. Okay. I think some things are better. For example, music, food, air, etc. But nowadays, uh, we, the advance of technology makes that we have more opportunities to live and have a better quality of life yes and life. even <clears throat> related to opportunities now you can study online different uh, master degrees right or certifications online right in different area of, of your job and you can have more opportunities 
to study abroad, to study in another country. So, yeah, I consider that in this aspect, uh, yes, good, good point. It's better. Uh, yes, it's better related to this area. And we have, yeah, more opportunities. Simple as that. Yeah, and it, in, even more opportunities to earn money in different forms, right? Yeah. Thank you, Ernest. Yeah, good. Roxana yeah. and Raquel. Life in the past used to be much slower and people have more research and more living space available to them. Now the world is more crowded and resources have depleted significantly. 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 Okay. Thank mm -hmm. you. On the contrary, modern life is much easier and convenient due to introduce introduction of new technologies. And also the technology is it's um, better because for example, before you have to spend too much um, in to spend in telephone and now you can make a call phone with by WhatsApp or a meeting like uh, with Zoom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you save time. It is not necessary to go to the office to spend yes. money on the transportation or in gasoline. Okay. And that's so yes. you save time. Mm -hmm. Time. Yes. Okay. I'm going to and take money. one of mm -hmm. and money. Hey, money. Definitely. Yeah. The most important yeah. aspect, right? Money. Uh, at least in this case. Thank you, Roxana. I like one idea. I like all, but there is one. Well, okay. it is two. Uh, in the past, uh, used to be much slower. Yeah, and now you can notice that the days are passing by very quickly. Like, come on, now we are about, what? In a couple of days, we are in December. And yes. so on, the time is passing by like very fast, but that is why, that is because we are busy. We have a lot of things to do. That maybe that's one of the reasons. And even um, you say people have more sources and more living space. Compare the houses now to 50 years ago. Come on, so different. A house 50 years ago, it's now four houses or three houses. Talking about the garden, the yard, uh, maybe the, the hall, I don't know. Now, because we have the population is bigger now, we have a lot of people. So, mm -hmm. one interesting point. And houses are going to get smaller and smaller and smaller. That's yes. Mm -hmm. So, thank you. Roxana, um, Raquel, and Robert. Yes, Raquel. Yes, it's better because every day the country has been improving in technology, education, medical, car, car. New opportunity for young people. Okay. Yeah, very nice in technology. <clears throat> yeah, medical care. I don't know with the last idea if young people have opportunities. Could it be maybe? But we have also a lot of young people uh, waiting for an opportunity to, to have uh, like a job in their area. Mm. Could it be? Maybe yes, maybe not. Thank you. Robert, we finish with you. Okay, teacher. I think this is a relative answer because each one will respond according to their life experience. But I think we are losing some values and good habits, but we are growing in technology, medicine, and other areas. Nice. Uh, I like the all your answers, well, all your ideas in your answer, but values, 
values are not so present in comparison to the past. Very, diff very different and the way of the treatment to the elders, a los mayores, now is, is very different. Uh, to greet, for example, saludar, yeah, is very different now. And I can notice, I don't know, because of the social media or because now people can upload or post videos, but I have noticed that there are a lot of sons yelling at their parents, que les gritan a sus papás. Or when, when you say shout, you can say help, or you shout because you are singing, but when you yell at someone, it's because you are angry, right? So, well, um, this is one of the reasons, right? Now, uh, the respect is uh, like losing, it's getting lost uh, day by day. But thank you. Thank you, Robert. Yeah, it is kind of a relative answer. And now we're going to move because uh, your answers were really nice. Very deep, very profound. Okay. <clears throat> Yesterday we were talking about the present perfect, right? This is the positive, right? Remember, this is the contraction. You can look at this. Sé que ya han visto eso principalmente en letras de canciones. Esto de I've, you've. Yeah, it, this is very common. So, yeah. Um, right and um, no, I was going to present I one idea from a song, but not okay. Uh, this is the subject pronouns have or has for third person and verb in uh, participle, past participle. Okay, look at this present perfect affirmative. For example, I have tried sushi before, yo he probado el sushi. Antes. Negative, I have not tried sushi before. Or interrogative, have you tried sushi before? Okay, so this is like the difference between affirmative, negative, and interrogative. And uh, with the negative, just add not, okay? And interrogative, have goes at the beginning. We're going to go with this, okay. Uh, we were talking about this yesterday, but a little bit. Look at this. You should have past past part plus past participle to talk about regrets, verdad? Para hablar sobre um, que le dije que era regrets, fue arrepentirse cuando ustedes se arrepienten de algo. Regrets. Siempre se me va esta palabra. I should have sent the report sooner. Yo debía haber enviado el reporte antes o más temprano. I shouldn't have asked her to carry those boxes. No debía haberle pedido a ella que cargara esas cajas. So you regret. You say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, it was not good. Tuve que haberlo hecho diferente. So, here we have the other part that is could and would have are often used with El could y el good se utiliza con el if. El if es un sí condicional. Por ejemplo, eh, si ahorramos, compraremos en el Black Friday. Si ahorramos. Ok, sí si es la condición. Algunos no lo van a hacer así, but anyway. So, if I had known you were sick, I could have gotten a substitute. Si yo hubiera sabido que tú estabas enfermo, yo pude haberte conseguido un sustituto. The manager could have fixed your schedule if you had mentioned it to him. El gerente pudo haber arreglado tu agenda, tu horario, si tú le hubieras mencionado eso a él. I would have come to work if I had received the schedule on time. Yo habría venido a trabajar si hubiera recibido la, el horario a tiempo. Eso sí está un tanto complicado, pero vamos a intentar hacerlo acá, ¿ok? Complete the sentences with should, could, would, have, más el participle, ¿ok? Le voy a dar acá unos eh, segundos para que, eh, pues, intentemos completarla. Lean las oraciones, le doy un minuto y luego comenzamos.
Okay, let's try. I know it is kind of strange, these um, sentences, but it is necessary to do it. If you have difficulties, I'm going to help you, okay? I'm going to give you ideas or some options, okay? I know it. this uh, may seem like difficult, but let's try to do it. And then we go with another um, activity, okay? Volunteers? Me, teacher. Okay, Maho, let's try. What number? Okay, uh, number two. Number two. The bartender shouldn't have taken. Yeah. That bottle of wine without permission. Thank you. You can say should not or shouldn't. Okay. I'll take in. Okay. Number one, it's a, thank you, Maho. Number one, if servers have received proper training, they could have answered the customer's question. Si los meseros hubieran recibido en capacitación adecuada, ellos pudieron haber servido a los clientes, eh, pudieron haber ajá, contestado las preguntas de los clientes. Thank you. Number two, the bartender should not have taken the bottle of wine without permission. El bartender no hubiera eh, no debió haber tomado de la botella de vino sin eh, permiso. Ok, what about the others? Mi teacher. Mi teacher. Ok, Miguel and then Roxana, right? Ok. Ok, Miguel. Uh, the server would have been in trouble if they had been later for the meeting. Vieron que la clave está en el hub, ¿verdad? Debe estar el hub. Thank you. Yeah. The servers would have been in trouble if they had been late for the meeting. Thank you. Uh, Roxana? Sí. You should have asked the manager for, the, for a day off. Okay. Nice. You should have asked. Thank you. That's number four. The manager for a day of mm -hmm. should have asked. Thank you. Okay. okay, five and six. Me, teacher. Okay, Denise, let's try. Uh, six, uh, five or six? Five. Okay. Uh, the pressure shouldn't taking that money from the register. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. Sí, el cajero o la cajera no debió haber tomado el dinero de la registradora. Thank you. That, that, that's it. And six, the last one. You're doing really good. I guess you don't have problems with this. And I, I am trying to explain a lot of things and you have like very nice answers. Okay, the last one. Me, teacher. Please, Robert. I should call, call it. Hmm? Thank you. Solo falta un auxiliar. Oh. I should have called. Yeah. The verb is correct. Cold. That is ca call it. Cold. I should have called to the to let the manager. Mm -hmm. I was sick. Okay. Before we go with another um activity, I needed to give me a or present a sentence in which you regret of something. Quiero que me hagan una oración en la cual ustedes se arrepientan de algo ok no, eso es pecado definitely. no, but maybe some of the things, opportunities right that you have, maybe some yeah especially, uh, well, opportunities that you have ok, for example, I should have I should have 
and here we have a verb in a past participle. El verbo en pasado participio. I should have bought that car. Debía haberme comprado ese carro. I should have visited or oh, travel. Travel to Peru. I should have, and you tell me what you consider. I should have gotten married. I should have gotten divorced. I should have said yes, no. Okay. Just one. If you want, I can present you a couple of verbs. I can present, uh, I need just one sentence, but I am giving you two in case you have some doubts. Let me check if I have here the verb, the list of verbs. Come on, what are they? Okay. I know you know a lot of verbs, but in case I'm going to present a list of verbs. Let me check here where I have it. No. You can look for the verbs in Google if you want. I don't find this. Yeah. In case in, if you have doubts, here we have past participle verbs, right? So you can have, for example, I should have accepted that proposal. Debía haber aceptado esa propuesta. Why not? Okay. Okay, Denise, tell me. Tell us your scene. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't have eaten pork last night. Because I had a bad stomach ache. Yeah, that's that's really risky. I prefer mm -hmm. to eat pork during the day. Maybe at <laughs> noon. Better, yeah, yes. but at night, at night, you can have difficulties, definitely. Thank you, Denise. Okay, Majo and Vicky. Okay. I shouldn't have spent all my money on vacation. I'm so sorry. Yeah, <laughs> I experienced that the last year. Mom. Yes. Come on. On January, this January... This last January, I was on street. Okay, come on. Do you travel some uh, at some place in special? But the the trip was good. The travel yes. was really ah, okay, come on. So you have pictures. <laughs> <laughs> you have like good memory. Okay, thank you. I know you're not going to forget that. Um, Vicky and Robert. I should have bought the plane ticket before the price when when at mm -hmm. definitely <laughs> there are some tickets the prices that you say come on say no and you say no but then the prices are so high and you say why I didn't do it right yeah yes I I'm want so to sorry try. I yeah want to try. <laughs> yeah the, the the maybe the the moral here uh, la moraleja maybe. The moral is to save uh, money, to have like uh, some savings. So when this happens, yeah, you, you don't have to doubt. Just say, yes, this is the time. But you should have uh, had that money. Thank you, Robert and Miguel. Hey, teacher. Please, hey. my friend. I should have studied harder for the exam now i regret no having done so taking the opportunity to get a better grade 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, it happens. It happens. And you say, you, you feel confident. Oh, come on, I know. I can do it good. But when you face the reality, it's like, hmm, come on, I regret. Thank you. Miguel um, Roxana. Okay, teacher. <clears throat> I shouldn't have eaten much because, pardon, I shouldn't have eaten much because my stomach hurts. Yeah, that and was a bad idea. Idea. I will tell you something about eating a lot. When you are eating and you are hungry, you want to eat the more than one dish. But I try to do it now slowly because if you eat fast, you are eating and eating. But when you eat like slowly, maybe your stomach is full, is filling or pulling fulfilling sorry and then you're saying okay maybe i'm going to leave a space for the dessert there is some coffee later right but if you eat very fast right then it sometimes it is very delicious the food and you say come on this is really delicious. all right come on yeah let's take care of our stomach and roxana and freddy's <laughs> Also, I shouldn't have eaten too much last night because I couldn't sleep very well. Okay, ask Denise. Right, Denise? <laughs> yeah, you are maybe at <laughs> night trying to sleep. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. But at the moment when you were eating, it was the lady. Mm. You were smiling. You were very happy. Yeah. The, the happiest person in the world. But yeah, then we have okay. the results. Action and reaction. Okay, one yes. of the Newton's laws. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Predis. I show how learning English in the school. Okay. Did you have good teachers, Predis? Yes. No. Yes. no. Or you were Malia. You were like a very hyperactive student. <laughs> yeah, I am um, Malia. Malia. <laughs> you, you were thinking of girls. Maybe you have like three girlfriends. I don't know at the time you didn't pay attention to the class. It happens. No, it's, uh, it's, um, distraído. Ah, distracted. You were distracted. distracted. Yeah, because you were watching the girls. So that's the reason. <laughs> Come on, Freddy. Uh, nah, kidding. No, no. I'm kidding. Bromas some bromas, Freddy. Yeah, but it happens. Come on. It's because we were young. Okay. okay. No les hipote, ya saben cómo es. <laughs> okay, guys. Here we go with a pair work. Um, here we have this. Uh, read the following situations and discuss with a partner about the, the actions a manager could have done to improve to solve them. So imagine that you are a manager. Select one of these um, situations and find a solution. You can say, ah, oh, this is the solution, okay? Mm, let's see, number one, money has disappeared from the register machine, but I can't tell who is taking it. Two, someone broke three bottles of the best wine in the restaurant, but none of the servers has reported the issue. Three, my customers complain that my servers take too long to deliver the food. Four, the kitchen manager has been taking stuff from the storage room. Storage room is como la bodega. It's when the, all the products are saved. Five, the schedule is a mess. And it is a very difficult for staff to understand it. Okay, uh, I need you to find the solution. It is not necessary to use the present perfect or, but you can use should, okay? Maybe. Let's find a solution. Remember, I need you to have a screenshot, please. Important. Have a screenshot and select from one to five. What is the situation? Select the problem. And you have to present the solution for these imaginary situations. Remember that you are Remember that you are the manager. So you are the boss. You have to take decisions. 
and it is difficult to take decisions in time. Okay, let me check. Teacher, is for each um, sentence of... of no, no. The... Select just one. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Select one of these. Because if we think about this five situation, it is too long. That is going to take a lot of time. And we have two. We, we have here some other activities. So select one. For example, you prefer to talk about number one. Money has disappeared. So there is a big problem because there is no money. Okay. So, but I can tell who is taking it. So it is difficult to, to say who is taking it. So find the solution or an option, an alternative to solution. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Let me see here. Okay. Well, um, the point in, in this is that there are different types of solutions you can give. And I don't know if you have been manager. I don't know in your case, if you have had that opportunity to be a, a coordinator, manager, a boss. Okay, so it is not like uh, this kind of complicated in some cases. Okay, just give me some time. I'm going to assign you one by one because I know you have some, we have some listeners. Let me check here. Okay, guys. See you in a moment. Please uh, accept the request. Select one of these situations and let's talk about this. Find the solution for one of these situations. See you in a moment. Okay, thank you. Let's see who else. Okay, Alex, I know that you are moving. Maybe you can accept the request. Uh, Raquel as well. Okay, Raquel, hello, are you there? I don't know if you can listen to me, Raquel. I need you to accept the request. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay, Alex is moving, Morelia, I guess, she's as a listener, and Luis Eduardo Reyes is as a listener.
Creo que las cámaras. Ups. <ríe> y, Everything eh, okay? ¿Todo así. bien? Yes. Sí, no hay problema. Está yes. bueno. Sí, hombre, sí. Está to... bueno el tema. <ríe> no, pero estamos hablando de la pregunta. Yo sé que sí, I know. Vicky, me le hablamos en inglés y ¿Me le das consejos a Denise, please? Ok. Da un par de tips. Solo tres botellas. No, muy poquito. No. <risa> Just three. Ok. Bueno, sí. Una. Demasiada. <risa> Maliesa. Ok. So, sí, no, después me dan tips a mí también. Ok, bye. Con una ya no aguanta uno. Yo con una es suficiente. Dice, dice, ok. Con una, dice. Only. Only. I'm going to... The I'm sorry. With two. Okay. See you later. <laughs>
Okay, guys, welcome back. And let's see one representative, one of the, yes, one of the representatives of the teams. Maybe you can tell me the answer. It is not necessary to write it, just say it. Okay? No necessary escribirlo, solo me dicen. Here we have different teams uh, Vicky and Denise, Freddy and Albert. We have Ernest and Majo, Robert and Roxana, Miguel and Nancy and Raquel. Who starts? Well, let's see. Nice, Nancy. Here we have. Wait, Denise. <laughs> yes. We can start. Yes. <laughs> I can. Ah. <laughs> yes, we are going to start. Okay. Um, we chose the second one. Mm -hmm. Someone, Someone wrote, wrote three, three bottles. Three. Ah, yes, 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 three bottles. Okay. Uh -huh. The best wine in the <laughs> restaurant, but none of the servers has reported the issue. Uh, one of the the solutions uh, is the manager should ask the employees if they saw somebody taking the bottles. Okay. And the other one, Vicky are going to tell them. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, perfect. The other one is the manager should put some cameras in the restaurant to have more control of what is happening. Um, the manager should have a training with the employees every month about Restaurant regula regulations. Regulations. Nice. Mm -hmm. Well, one of the the alternatives that you mentioned is going to be included in the next activity. Okay, because we're going to talk about cameras and monitoring personnel. Thank you. Very nice uh, alternatives. I guess you can control this um situation by doing that. Thank you, Denise and Vicky. And um, okay, who else? Ask the Okay. Go ahead. Maho and me. Okay. Okay. We choose the number four. Four. The kit. Yes. The kitchen manager has been taking stuff from the storage room. Good. Okay. Our solution is, uh, we think uh, that the right thing to do. First would be to talk to the person because he could have a problem at home. Tell him or she that she or he can obtain sanctions uh, if he commit the same acts. We give him the opportunity to continue working, but tell him that he should not do it again. The procedures, if he commit the same acts, is first a verbal admonition and after that the dismissal. Okay. Very nice. And it is that. Well, uh, I consider that it is good talking about human aspects, right? Not just firing that person, but taking into account different uh, aspects of his or her life, right? Good. Very humanity. Thank you. I like it. Nice. Um, okay. We have uh, Vicky and Denise. We have 
Ernest and Maho. What about the others? Uh, Nancy sent their answer. Nancy with Miguel and Raquel, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, yes, teacher. Let's... Okay. Here we have, this is your answer, right? Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> Who starts? Iniciamos nosotros. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, talking with my colleagues, Nancy and Marixa, we reached we reach an agreement to give a solution for each point, and they are the following. Number one, I should put a sur surveillance camera. Surveillance camera. Number two, the price to the bodies, price of the bodies that were broken should be divided among the, the waiters. Um, and the solution three. that the manager shall do number three you shall give them customer service training in a restaurant number four the manager shall be fired for theft theft, mm -hmm. theft. and five I should make a more understandable, understand, understand, understandable, 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 uh, schedule. schedule. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, thank yeah. you. Okay, that's it. Um, we have uh, the others, maybe Freddy's and Albert, or Robert and Roxana. Question is, what is a fraud that is used by bartenders? The most common fraud report is no reporting from several sales. They are proposed products of of inventory at the drink at the from price. Okay. Thank you, Albert. Teacher. Hello. Uh... The point number four, what is fraud tactic used by bartender? Uh, is... we use number four. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, the bartender, the solution is bartender should not change. I use camera and give a good witness to employees. Okay. Thank you. That, that's it. That's perfect. Thank you, Fredis. And we finish with Robert and Roxana. We choose the um, number one. Money okay. has disappeared from the register machine, but I can tell who is taking it. Mm -hmm. I think it's, it is a relative answer because each one will respond accordingly. Accordingly to their life experience, but I think, and no, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, no problem. I don't know. Okay, you need more time? No, no, no. But we think that the best solution was to install a camera. Okay. Camera. Camera. And camera is camera. okay. Yes. A camera and also make um to like arching at the end of the day. At the end of the day, yes. Como un arqueo de caja. Arqueo de caja. Okay. Yes. Okay, an arching. Thank you. Arch Okay. Yes. It is like to check day by day the quantities. Okay. Good. Yes. Perfect. 
Thank you, uh, my friends. I don't know uh, who has been a manager, but I consider you have like good ideas in case you have like this type of situation. Okay. And now let's see, uh, we're going to a listening. Here we have a conversation. Let's try to pay attention and you, you want, you can take notes, okay, about this. Let me check. Okay. Let's listen. Number one. Hello. Hello. Is this a library? Yes, it is. Quiet, please. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Can I help you? Uh, yes, please. I want to borrow some books. What do I need? You need a library card. Here's the application form. You can take up to six books maximum today. Okay, six books. Yes, you have two weeks to read the books. Then you bring them back. And if I'm late? Every day you are late, there is a fee of 50 pence. Okay, 50 pence a day. Uh, anything else? Mobile phones must be switched off in the library. You can bring your laptop, but please use headphones to watch videos and or listen to music. Okay, great. And you can't bring food or drink. No food, no drink, and... And please speak quietly. People are working here. Oh, oh, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's listen one more time. Second time. Hello. Hello. Is this a library? Yes, it is. Quiet, please. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Can I help you? Uh, yes, please. I want to borrow some books. What do I need? You need a library card. Here's the application form. You can take up to six books maximum today. Okay, six books. Yes, you have two weeks to read the books. Then you bring them back. And if I'm late? Every day you are late, there is a fee of 50 pence. Okay, 50 pence a day. Uh, anything else? Mobile phones must be switched off in the library. You can bring your laptop, but please use headphones to watch videos and or listen to music. Okay, great. And you can't bring food or drink. No food, no drink, and... And please speak quietly. People are working here. Oh, oh, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, um, let's see if we have some ideas about this listening. Okay, volunteers. Me, teacher. Okay, Vicky. Um, libra library, yeah, oh, library. A mm -hmm. quiet, please. Um, I do like. Uh, can I help you? Some books. Um, six books maximum today and mm -hmm. um, cell phone and uh, no food no drink is yes, speak quiet speak quiet okay nice very good a lot of phrases who else maybe you can talk about what is the point of this conversation or words or phrases or i don't know um, well i hear that the library has a fee if mm -hmm. she returned late the the books yeah. and the fee is uh, fifty pounds. For, okay, for, good. For each for each, each. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Good, yeah, there is a fee. You have to pay. Okay. Anybody else? I guess this audio was very understandable. Me teacher. Please, Freddy. Hello, it is library. Can I help you? The books, library, 
mobile phone, six box. That's it. Yeah, good. Thank you. Nice. Wonderful. I guess you have understood this, right? Let's see. Okay. Um, as you mentioned, all of you are right. Things are like uh, saying hello mm -hmm. and asking about the library. Quiet. Yeah. If you notice, um, yeah, six books, six books. The library card. And yeah, so, okay. So no, nothing like difficult, right? So um, let's see who was in charge of the song. Thank you for your participation. Who was, who is in charge? Okay, Denise, Denise right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Let's now? See. Yep. Now I don't know if you're ready or do you need time? Um no, I'm ready. Please. I'm ready. Okay. Oh. Okay, yes. So nice. Good picture. Okay, good. Let's oh, go. I I don't know how to hide this. No, come on, no, no. Okay. We didn't see any. <laughs> okay, so you have to get the song. Mm -hmm. And this is my song. Oh, I admit that in the past I've been a nasty. Mm -hmm. They weren't kidding when they called me well a witch. But you'll find that no nowadays I've mended all my ways, repented, seen the light, and made a switch. True? Yes. And I fortunately know a little magic. It's a talent that I always have possessed. And here lately, please don't laugh. I use it on behalf of miserable, lonely, and depressed, pathetic, poor, unfortunate soul in pain, in need. This one longing to be thinner, that one wants to get the girl. And do I help them? Yes, indeed. That's my song. <laughs> okay. Um, it, is it pop? Is it like... No. <laughs> not, not at all? Okay. <laughs> no, it's from a movie. <laughs> from a movie. Okay. What about the others? Because... um. Nothing it's, comes to mind. Is a Disney movie? <laughs> yes, it's a Disney it's movie. <laughs> Which one? With Maho, what movie? Uh, I can't remember that, but it sounds familiar. <laughs> que la cante. <laughs> que la cante. <laughs> Madre, la sabe, Freddy. But in the, in the image, there is a clue. <laughs> Um, the mermaid. The presentation is close. Yes. <laughs> ah, it's the mermaid. Okay, nice. Very interesting. Yes. So that's the main yes. song. It's like part of the soundtrack. The, no, it's no. It's one of the soundtrack. It's Poor Unfortunate Souls. Um, Ursula's song. Ursula's song. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Nice. Wonderful. Okay. <laughs> and is this from the classic? movie or the recent one? Yes. No, the classic. The classic. The classic. Ursula. Yeah. Ursula. Seems like Paquita la del Barrio. Okay, nice. Very nice. Okay. Thank that, you. Thank you. That's the one. That's the one. Okay. Uh -huh. Um, I I found some words that I didn't know. <laughs> so Perfect. I I yes. You have the, the meaning. Nasty. Yes. That it means desagradable or so. Mm -hmm. Kidding is bad, which is bruja. Nowadays, el día de hoy, mended, enmendado, repented, arrepentido, switch uh, in this context is cambio. Yeah. Longing, uh, anhelar, thinner is más delgado o delgada. Indeed, por supuesto, y on behold, a favor. 
on the whole. And my words, um, we have the verbs, a lot mm -hmm. of verbs, admit, kidding, cold, find, mended, know, have, love, use, longing, want, get, and help. Uh, adjective, nasty, repented, miserable, <laughs> only bad adjectives, <laughs> yeah, lonely, but... depressed, pathetic, <laughs> or unfortunate, in pain, in need. I, actually, I have a question, teacher, because mm -hmm. I don't know, I don't know, in pain and in need is uh, an adjective. I, I don't know. Yeah, in pain, yeah. it is when you, you, something hurts, well, you are, Mm -hmm. You are suffering. Feeling in pain. You're you're feeling uh -huh. in pain. Yes. Something hurts you. Yeah, you have a pain. Uh -huh. And That's in okay. need is like you have a necessity. Okay. You need something. It is like. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it is. Uh -huh. Uh, uh -huh. It is an adjective. Yeah, it is an adjective. It is like a composed okay. adjective. It's for example when you say um um I got lost. Okay, uh, well, estás perdido. Mm -hmm. I got lost. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's a. It is because pain is a noun, is dolor, or a verb, doler, right? And need, mm -hmm. necesitar, mm -hmm. but yeah, it is like this. Mm -hmm. okay. Good. Okay, and we have only two irregular verbs: been and made. Mm -hmm. Pronouns: uh, I, they, you, it, and only one object pronouns: uh, them. Them. And that's it. Thank you, Denise. Claps for you. Very nice. I like it. And well, yeah, very nice uh, song. But if you notice, as you mentioned, you uh, you realized or you notice that the the mo well most or all the adjectives are like negative. It means <laughs> what yeah. reflects the song. It is not just like a song because the because yes, it is uh, because there is a reason. <laughs> Yeah, I mean that yeah. that's one of the wonderful of the lyrics, definitely. Thank you, Denise. Very nice song, and you <laughs> like movies. Uh we can see that you <laughs> like movies. okay. Now we're going to have some others. I'm going to call. Let's see who's going to be the next. Okay. Freddy's, you're going to be the first. The, the next, okay, with your song. I? Yes. Oh, ya la presentaste. Yes. I'm sorry. No, no. Vicky. Yes, teacher. Mira, voy I, a I, I, voy a I can tomorrow. <laughs> you can or you can't? No, I can. Ah, okay. I can. Thank you. Thank you, Vicky. Voy a terminar este módulo y siempre me confundo con los colores que elegí para ver el... <laughs> Crazy. No problem. So sorry. So sorry. Uh, Vicky, so for tomorrow, uh, bring a song, maybe uh, a song that you like or you don't like, or a song that makes Your you song. remember things, <laughs> anecdotes. Yeah, it happens. It happens. <laughs> maybe some other times. Thank you so much, my friends. Let's go with the uh, last activities. Here we have um, a reading text, and we have just uh, 19 minutes, and we say goodbye. Look at this. Here we have a uh, read the following passage about surveillance technology. Uh, tecnología de vigilancia, surveillance. That is something that you were mentioning about cameras with the cashier, with the waiters, and some others, okay? So I'm going to show you what is the part that I need you to help me read it? You're going to help, okay? So the first one is going to be Robert, and then we go with Vicky. Okay, Robert, you are going to read. Are you there, Robert? Yes, sir. Okay, you're going to read from the beginning until here, okay? Okay. Most of the public discussion of surveillance technology and its use revolves around the, the question 
it is spooky or reassuring. But a different issue is said uh, is the effect or surveillance or be on behavior. On behavior, thank you. Okay, Vicky and then Denise. In a new research. Vicky, are you there? Yes. And a new research paper shows in detail how significant the surveillance effect can be. Uh, the research measure the impact of software that monitors employee level chef and sales transitions before and after the technology was installed at uh, 392. 300, 392 restaurants in 39 states. Thank you, 39 states. Okay, we go now with Denise. Okay, we're going to, yeah. Employee, employee thief and fraud is a big problem. Estimated at up to 2,000 billion. 200 billion a year across the economy. Most of the restaurant in industry pays it, its uh, servers low wage and they depend on tips. Employee replacement is high. Okay, thank you. We go now with Maho in that environment and then Roxana. Okay, in that environment, a certain amount of tips has long been regarded as a normal part of the business. Mm -hmm. okay. A simple example is a bartender not charging for a round of drinks and urging the customers to take care of me with a large tip. Other tactics are more elaborate. Thank you. Okay, we go with Roxana and then we go with... Um, I Yes, Roxana and then Ernest. But monitoring. But, mon but monitoring software is now available to track all transactions and detect suspicious patterns after the installation of the monitoring software in compared restaurant increased by an average of 2,000. 2000. 980, 982 a week. Thank you. Okay, um, Ernest, I don't know if you're there. You're going to continue um, after this a week. Let me check. Yes. <clears throat> yes. No win. They were. No win. They were being monitored. The servers not only pull it back on a on 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 technical Any? practice on technical practices, but also channel the efforts into, says Rapon, customers to have to desert on a second beer. Thank you, yeah. So in every text, you're going to find, listen, you're going to find like main ideas, important ideas. And Commonly, it comes at the beginning. For example, most of the public discussion for surveillance technology and its use results around the question, is it spooky or rest? Okay. Um, es, será como tenebroso o será como un alivio? Okay. Surveillance technology. Okay. So here we have some examples of how about the behavior. El comportamiento, okay? So there is a research, una investigación, okay? About the surveillance effect can be, okay? Talking about the results of this. And here we have some examples, right? Uh, installing uh, a, in a lot of restaurants, okay? In 39 states, most of the states in, in United States, okay? Uh, employee theft is robo, okay? So employee theft and fraud, a big problem. And this happens to a lot of uh, restaurants, okay? Imagine 200 billion across the economy, mm -hmm. a lot of money. So the owners or the, yeah, the people who own the restaurants or these businesses are losing a lot of money. 
So um, a simple example is a bartender not charging for a round of drinks. It is not charging. So maybe he is like uh, sending this, I'm sorry, like giving drinks, but not charging and urging the customer to take care of me with a large tip. Other tactics are more elaborate. And I guess you have noticed uh, bad tactics about getting money from customers talking about even cloning it doesn't say but in some other here how clone a uh, credit cards cloning and yeah a lot of examples so uh to finish they say um now the word being monitored the servers not only pulled back to any unethical practices but also channel their efforts into so it means that it works si funciona. so um from the customer to have that dessert or a second beer. So, of course, you have data, information, but uh, we have just 11 minutes and we say goodbye. So, I don't know if you have noticed, but time is passing by so, so quickly. El tiempo está avanzando demasiado rápido. We finish with this. Tell a challenging, no challenging, challenging challenging goal in your life and how you accomplish cuenta una meta que fue un reto en tu vida y cómo lo logras cómo lo superas similar to rich okay i'm going to read this remember that this is going to be like your assistant okay so i'm going to be waiting for all your answers i know that you have had a lot of challenges in your life. And now maybe you have not only one or two, but uh, there is one that maybe it was very difficult and you thought in the past, I'm not going to do it. And at the end you did it. So it means that, yeah, you have a, a lot of uh, strength, Fortaleza, you have a lot of strength and you have a lot of Abilities, intelligence, okay, um, different aspects. Okay, I'm going to be waiting for your answers. We are going to say goodbye after completing this activity. Okay, let's listen, and we're going to start with Vicky, 
And then Majo. Please, my friends, go, Vicky. Okay. Um, for me, a challenging goal is to be a mother. Mm -hmm. yeah. Every day, it is a challenge to be a mother. It is not easy. Very decision. Every decision, excuse me, uh, make is hoping that it is the best decision to raise my daughter. Okay, there is no perfect mo mother or father. And not there is only, no, and there's not as, uh -huh, tell me. Uh, only just I try every day to be the best mom. And better, and to improve. And there is not a school to to <laughs> to learn how to be a mother, so. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. So, and maybe the decisions that you take, it is different from your daughter or from another kid, another, I don't know. So, well, I, I, I'm I, sure that you're a good mother, Vicky. Okay, <laughs> nice. Thank you. Thank you for sharing this. Majo and Miguel. Okay. The most challenging thing in my life is my university career. Mm -hmm. Since I changed my career and started again, so I have to work and study at the same time to do be able to pay for my degree. Mm -hmm. It has been very tiring and exhausting because the time to do both things has been very limited. Now I am about to graduate, which makes me feel satisfied. But with hard work, it is possible. Come on, we have to celebrate this, Maho. Thank you. Yeah, Denise and Vicky were talking about some things that... the. Uh they can present you in the party, right, Denise? Yeah, nice. So good, good, um, Maho. Wow, congratulations. I know it has been really hard. And maybe one day you say, no, I'm, 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 I'm quitting. Stop, right? But now, trying to do it better day by day. Thank you. I like these stories. Um, Miguel and Ernest. Miguel. Okay, teacher, uh, my biggest challenge was learning to swim. Seems all my friends could have a talent. So I start practice and when I learned to float, it was a little easier. Then I learned to swim and I felt, felt too excited because I was able to learn to swim. And that day was spectacular for me. Definitely. And this is one of the best things that you can learn. And this can save your life or you can save another person. Yeah. Swimming is so important. Thank you, Mio. Not everybody had the opportunity when they were kids or young, but you can learn. Yeah. Thank you, Mio. Okay. Ernest and Freddy's. <laughs> Uh, a challenge accomplished for me was graduated from high school because mm -hmm. my family had a lot of problems um, in this uh, in this uh, época. This, uh, this finish, time. Mm -hmm. in, in this time. And finish the studies was a really challenge. Mm, uh, you don't know, or me as a teacher, uh, I have learned that every student has different things in their head, different problems. So maybe you have difficulties, but yeah, congratulations, Freddy. I know that it was a challenge for you, but you did it. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome, my friend. Ma, uh, Morelia. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hello. Um, when I broke my ankle, it was the most challenging in my life and I could accomplish it for my sister. She was my support and made me feel that everything will be okay and I could walk good again. Okay, uh, I guess the uncle, the uncle is very um, fragile. It is uh, very complicated to recover because uh, all your weight, uh, it is like, have impact in that part of your of their body so yeah it's difficult 
can I can imagine. I didn't experience this, but I can imagine it's good that you have like a person next to you helping you. So that's so yeah. good. That's so it good that so good. your sister was close to you. Be the beautiful of a family. Thank you, Morelia. Nice. Okay, so we have just two minutes. I don't know if the others are ready. Me, teacher. Okay, I okay, Denise. It. Yes. Okay, uh, please. My challenging goal has been buying my own house. I accomplished my goal, losing my fears because I was really scared to start by my own because it's a big responsibility. But thanks God, everything is going very well. Uh, I have learned how to prioritize and organize my life. Wow, Denise. Very, uh, I'm, I'm like, I'm in shock because you are very young and you have your house. Good. Yeah, I like it. It is difficult here in El Salvador. It is a real challenge. There are a lot of people that even they are going to get retired. And even they don't have their own house. It's difficult. So, okay. Thank you, Denise. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. Okay. Congratulations. We have to, to we need to have a party there to celebrate my house. Okay. Perfect. Anybody else? We're going to say goodbye in a minute. I don't know if. Me, teacher. Okay, Freddy. Uh -huh. The most challenging in my life is study a uh, Carrera University. Was challenging about is achieving it with a lot of effort and dedication. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for sharing it. I hope you can you can finish and continue. Please come on. Of course you can do it. Uh, okay, my friends, we're going to say goodbye because it is the time. Okay, to stop. Um, I know that some of you didn't send the, the the answer. Maybe we can continue tomorrow. But, okay, we have Albert. Let's see. I'm going to read it. Lo voy a leer, Albert. My biggest, the biggest challenge has been my son's education because I had to fight to achieve it because when my son was here, I all separated from, yeah, Albert. Wow. You are a great dad, Albert. It is not easy, but you have to be a, a, a parent present the, all the time you can. Thank you, Albert, for sharing the, a, a nice a nice story. Okay, uh, Denise, could you wait a little bit in the session one-to-one? -one? Okay, for the rest, my friends, see you tomorrow. Five more classes, cinco clases, y nos decimos okay. adiós. Have a good night. Avance en la plataforma, please. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you, my friends. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Okay, Denise, I guess you had a session with the previous teacher, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes, because you are one of the first in the list. So that's, yeah. that's why. Let me ask you a couple of things. The first one, where did you learn English? Why? No, where? 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 Mm -hmm. ah, <laughs> well, I don't remember. <laughs> Uh, I studied English when I was a kid, when I was about 10 years. Mm -hmm. And then only at the university, but only like two models. And the, the English that I know is because I, I see a lot of movies. I watch a lot of movies. Yeah, okay. And I, I listen to music, a lot of music, but in English. And I like to to do karaoke when I am. Oh uh, yeah. Really? <laughs> you you can sing, right? right? No, I can't. Come on. <laughs> I Come on. can't. I'm really bad. But I think that helps a lot because you know how it sounds and you know what's the word and mm -hmm. you are pronouncing it. 
So I think that helps a lot. Yeah, definitely. I as I, as I always say, um, something that we do is listening to music, but we don't pronounce it. So we are acquiring mm -hmm. a lot of vocabulary. We know the words. That's the reason why people say I understand, but I can't mm -hmm. speak it. I can't pronounce mm -hmm. it because uh, English is a tongue twister. It's a travel language. So <laughs> the most the more you you practice uh, the better you sound but it is difficult that people pronounce even when you sing it is not necessary to shout when you're singing right but you can pronounce little by little and that's it your english is really good dennis i like your pronunciation your vocabulary is good your grammar is is excellent there are some details maybe with the third person <laughs> but but details yes. Details. Yes, I think for me it's hard uh, when I have to 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 use the past tense. Okay. Or uh -huh, or where when I have to read, I don't know why it's difficult to me. I am I feel like I'm I am slow when I am reading. I don't know why. Ah, uh, okay. I I consider that it is not that necessary to 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 speak or to read fast, but okay. if you use the pauses, commas, the periods, your English sounds like natural. And I guess that's the objective, that <laughs> your uh, that your English sounds like normal, like Denise speaking as Denise, but in English. <laughs> so that's it. And it is difficult because <laughs> at the beginning, I remember that I it my English sound like well in the past it sounded like if i were another person and even <laughs> my voice my voice changed was like different now i consider that it's me it's uh Jose <laughs> speaking like normally talking about crazy things but speaking english and <laughs> it is like that and um, i consider that maybe there are a few things that maybe you can improve but you're doing really good I even, in my point of view, you you have a, a higher level than intermediate. I don't know if you did an exam. I did. Yes, I did the test and I get intermediate four, One. I think. Uh huh. But four or three, I don't remember. But I knew that I never studied English. And I didn't know about grammar. I didn't know about anything like that. And I wanted to start knowing that, like the basic things. Okay. Because the things that I know is just because of movies and songs, and I don't know. No, but uh, I guess I guess that you have learned English by acquisition. Okay. Um, look at this. You can learn everything by two means or methods by acquisition or formal learning acquisition is like babies it's like kids that they start speaking because they need to communicate and they listen and they repeat but when you learn something for example when you learn grammar in spanish or orthography you need to learn the rules that's formal, that's formal learning. So in your case, maybe you learn English like formal language at the beginning, but after that, maybe you acquire a lot of vocabulary by watching movies, by listening to music. So that's the reason why uh, you are very fluent when you speak in English. But there are some grammar points that maybe you can like study. And it is like that I... Uh, have like the idea that we all can learn English, but there are people who have a chip, a special chip to learn some specific things. So there are abilities. So you have a language intelligence. That that's my my, my yeah my point of view like, about yeah. you. Yeah, you have this, and of yeah. course I know that you have some other abilities, but related to languages you have the ability to learn whatever you 
<laughs> ones. So I know that a lot of words that we study are common for you, but I try to present you by my method that if you know, it's kind of different uh, with the other teacher. The other teacher is really good, but I tried to have some other activities because I was a student and I remember <laughs> how it feels. I, I used to sleep in during classes. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I remember. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I hope you like uh, the classes, uh, the activities. I do, I do, I really do. I actually, I was talking about that with, I don't know, I, I don't remember with who, but we were saying that the, um, the, you made us talk a lot and that's a good thing because we need to talk, we don't want to talk. Yeah, there are, <laughs> I guess we can learn about English for work and that's nice. That well, that's the objective of this. That's why I am paid. <laughs> but if you can perform, you can solve any questions, answer, or talk about any topic, it means that you can speak English because English is culture, part of any culture. And if you talk about different aspects in about your life, personal things, about your job, about social things. It means that you can you can talk about anything and that that's it. So that's why I present you like kind of strange questions. And I believe me, I have a lot of strange questions, but little by little and it is like that. I I hope you you, you like it as as you say and well yeah, thank, thank you. you for participating for, for your effort. I know it is difficult, but okay. Nice. Yes, the last week was really hard for me. I couldn't be in the class like like I really I I would like, but 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 it's in the past. Now I'm <laughs> I'm back. Okay. Yes. Thank you so much for your participation, okay. for your positive attitude. Even your English is really good, good. But you participate, you talk with others, so that's nice. And if you notice. There are some other students who have like good English and their attitude is like really nice. I like, I like this group. This is a really good one. Okay. Yes. So I don't know if I'm going to be with you the next uh, module. Maybe not. I guess not because we, we are like, um, we are assigned to different groups differently. It means that okay. we are changing, but maybe I can see you again, of course. Con yes. mucho gusto, perdónenme. Gracias. Thank you, teacher. Thank you to you. So have a good night and okay. see you tomorrow, okay? Okay. Bye-bye. Good night. Thank good you. Night. Night, night. See you.